Hi, Rick here from the Financially Independent Millennial, here again with another 90 Second Finance Friday video. Finance Fridays is a series of 90 second videos where I cover something important related to finance and publish every Friday. Are you thinking of retiring early, retiring soon, or maybe you're already retired? You might have guessed that when you're retired, you're going to need income. But have you considered inflation? When we work, we also generally get raises, and that helps offset inflation or the rising costs of goods that we consume, like food and gas. Well, in retirement, we also need to get raises to cover the rising costs of everyday expenses. And the easiest, most straightforward way to generate income in retirement is by investing in quality dividend stocks. And that leads me to introduce Chevron Corporation. Chevron is a dividend aristocrat. A dividend aristocrat is a blue chip stock listed on the S&P 500 and has raised their dividends for at least each of the last 25 years. And Chevron has raised its dividend for over 33 years in a row. Chevron is one of the largest publicly traded energy companies in the world and the second largest in the US after Exxon. They're what you call an integrated super major. In other words, a gigantic oil and gas company, and there's only seven super majors in the world. Chevron makes money through its upstream oil and gas production and downstream refining business. Putting it simply, Chevron is a big company, and they make a ton of money. One thing that's important about Chevron's bottom line is that it does better when oil prices are high. For example, when the pandemic sent oil prices crashing, Chevron's bottom line went into a loss. But now that oil prices have recovered, their bottom line has improved significantly. No matter what, Chevron's management team is very aware of the importance of their dividends to their investors. And for this reason, they continued to pay a dividend and even increased their dividend through recent recessions like the financial crisis of 2009 and the most recent pandemic.